Who's who is Mari Bass One? Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Young Mari Bass. Mari Bass One. Next Generation. Seattle Music. How did you get into hip hop? When I got into hip hop as a kid, you know, shout out my dad, Mr. Benjamin, 2008, true OG in Seattle. He's been doing this way before I was born, you feel me? I started Duce Records when I was a kid. You know, as I got older, I just been around the music all my life. And even listening to stuff growing up on the radio, and you know, it's just all inspirations from me as a kid to now. There's multiple artists that I listen to, but how I really got started was from my pops and my older cousins. So, yeah. Tell me about the song Bouncing, the recording process, and the concept. Well, my song Bouncing, it's crazy about that song because when I first made it, I just knew it was a hit. Just knew it was a hit. Just from the style of the beat, shout out DJ Funk Daddy on the ones and twos. And that was just a song that I just, it, it was something different for me. I say it like that. It was something very different for me. It was a, a unique sound that I differed in and ventured into, you know, and I came out with a hit, and the the, the inspiration of that, you know, I shout out SOBRB, shout out everyone in the Bay Area, shout out that sound. You Tell me about your project, Marriotto 2, uh, how you came up with your concept, the title, your inspiration throughout the, your project, and the success that you have going on. So, Marriotto 2 is a sequel to my first mixtape, Mari Auto the Mixtape Volume 1, and the inspiration behind that name, and I got it from my favorite uh, kids uh, TV show, uh, Rocket Power, you know what I'm saying? Taking the first name of the main character, Otto, my name, Mari, put together. You know, you got Mari Otto, you dig, I'm grinding on him. Brilliant show, Rocket Power. For y'all who don't remember, Rocket Power is a 90s show back in the day on Nickelodeon, but my favorite character from that show was Otto Rocket main character you feel me and i took the first name of his name otto mari Otto, mari base put it together you got mari Otto, and that's what i roll with you know what i'm saying you know shout out that boy dean though out there in, in the midwest that made the uh my front cover for the album shout out him and shout out that boy dope ass cover art overseas for making the back cover you feel me you know i just got to work and i, I like the the sports themes too so it just all made sense to me. I brought a character to the life I like. So now we got Mari Otto. It's me and him combined. You feel me? What was your favorite part of the video shoot for Bouncing? A favorite part about shooting the Bouncing music video? Honestly, I'm going to have to say it's the whole the whole shoot. I have to say that because from shooting inside with the women, my bro, he's silent. From shooting up on the rooftop, on the grill, just swagging, getting it in. From being on Alki, West Seattle, overlook of the city and the water, the Z28, all my friends. I just honestly have to say that just that overall video shoot, I like a lot to all of it. Shout out the Video Dope Dealer out of Eugene, Oregon, for coming out to Seattle and shooting and filming that for me, man. I really appreciate you. You did. But yeah, that whole bouncing video, we got it in on that one. I like that a lot. Tell me about the single scoring, your recording process, and your concept behind it. Man, the single scoring, man, that's a sensational song, you feel me? Like, no cap. Like, when I first made that song, it's crazy because my, my verse for that was supposed to be for a feature for somebody else. But that particular person, you know, at the time, they didn't take me serious. So I ended up just being by myself at the house on the computer listening to beats and the beat y'all hear is the one I chose and I took that verse and mashed it to it, changed a couple words up, added some words, you know, I was on my little Uzi, little Yachty vibe, you know, auto-tuned up and I put, I laid the song. Now when it comes to the hook, I freestyled the hook, literally I freestyled it and I chanted my name. I didn't know chanting my name was going to be so phenomenal. And sensational, you know, but I chanted my name, oh, Mari Bass, uh, Mari Bass one, and then, then boom, I got scoring. Shout out DJ Funk Daddy, he on that beat too. Shout out that boy on the ones and twos. What was the, the success behind the <clears throat> video? Well, the success, man, it's crazy. 
Cause when you when I think about it, it's crazy, you know, outside looking in. But man, the success behind the scoring video was phenomenal. Picked up on BET Jams. But if it it wasn't for the bouncing video, the bouncing video got picked up on BET Jams in the beginning of 2019, and it just that's when everything just took off. And then from bouncing, opened up the door for the scoring video. And man, now look, on YouTube, scoring's at 1 million views and counting right now. You can look for yourself, proof is in the pudding. And bouncing's on its way too. And my Spotify numbers, Apple Music numbers, streaming numbers, just in general, just my streams, phenomenal, you feel me? Look, numbers don't lie. I don't care what nobody says, numbers do not lie. You know, but the success for this whole year has just been amazing. It's been, I can't stop saying, it's been phenomenal. Seattle music's real. Y'all y'all gonna follow suit. It's coming. Y'all gonna follow. It's okay. I'm just getting my feet wet with y'all right now. <clears throat> what was your favorite performance you did? Man, I've done so many performances throughout this whole year, man. But my favorite performance will have to be in Sacramento at the Ace of Spades on the Blue Face Find the B Tour. The crowd was rocking with me tough. You know, every time I go there, they show love. That was my third time in SAC, you know. But when scoring came on and everyone took their flashes out and them lights turned off in that venue, oh my goodness. It was sensational in there. Like, you just had to be there to see or y'all can go on my Instagram and just look at the footage at Mari Base One, like, I'm speechless. I was speechless after the sh after my take or after my set at the at the f concert, but that was so filthy. That's my favorite. But I got an honorable mention. I was on Halloween at Jub Jubs in Reno, uh, Reno, Nevada. The crowd was just going crazy. It was rocking with me, you know. Was throwing water, jumped in the crowd, got in, mosh pit everybody, you know. Shout out everybody that was at that concert, man. Shout out Blueface. Shout out Whack 100. Find the beat tour. Man, I had one, man, I had a hell of a time, man. You know what I'm saying? Seattle music's real. Tell me about your recent tour. Man, you know, going back, I was on uh, Blue Faces Find the Beat Tour. So, like I said, I did three cities with him. We went to Fresno at the Rainbow Ballroom. Uh, we went to uh, Sacramento at the Ace of Spades. And we was in Reno at Jub Jubs on Halloween. All within like a two week span, you feel me? And when I could tell you, that experience was amazing. You know, I never did. You know, I, once this once this opportunity came to me, I said I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna sacrifice everything else. I'm going because I knew I might not never have this opportunity ever again. You know, and I met Blueface. Shout out Blueface, real cool dude. Met Wack 100, real cool dude, real laid back. You know, OG, and just performing at all these venues, man. Fresno, Fresno show love. Sacramento was just so amazing, man. I'm gonna always go back to Sac. Sac shows love, and Reno just rocked with me, man. Y'all can see all this footage too on my Instagram at Mari Base One. You feel me? But that tour, that tour is amazing. You know, Blueface. If you watching this, you feel me? I need to get back on it, man. You know, Wack 100. I know y'all hear me. Seattle music's real. You feel me? We gotta do it. We getting it in over here, man. Yeah. So, uh, what's the Seattle music scene like? Man, honestly, the Seattle music scene is very beautiful right now. It's amazing. There's nothing bad I can say about it because everyone out here is doing their thing. I don't care what no one says, man, from the artists to the cameramen to the DJs to the media outlets to the club promoters, clubs. Everyone is just doing their thing, man, and I salute every single one of y'all. Everyone's just Seattle music. 2020, we're gonna have a phenomenal year for Seattle music. You feel me? And what I like about Seattle music and out here in the Pacific Northwest, everybody is different. Don't nobody sound the same. Everyone's music is different from each other, and everyone's coming together. Slowly but surely, you know, you can see it in the music, in the videos. You can see it. Everyone's coming together. They, everyone's starting to become their own identity and their own entity, man. I love it. I love it. Like, it's crazy, man. Seattle music is real. 
next generation of Seattle hip hop. You feel me? What's next for Mari Base One? My album Mari Auto Two is dropping this year, 2020. We starting the year off right, and then I got more visuals on the way, more shows, merch is coming. My Mari Auto merch, everything's coming. You feel me? You know, Seattle Music 2020 is gonna be a phenomenal year for me and my team. Shout out BJ and J Entertainment. And y'all can follow me on all social media too, at Mari Base One. That's M A R I B A S E D One, as y'all can see on the head. And I need all y'all to go stream and buy that music too Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, YouTube, SoundCloud, any streaming services y'all prefer to listen to. I need y'all to go get that music now. Seattle music is real. I'm out.